doing a different route today. <clears throat> we are doing the um, Snowden Ranger Path and we're going up to Moyle King Horion. It is a, a hill we did, well I meant to do last time but we didn't quite manage it. So parking around here is pretty, um, pretty scarce. There's a, a paint display car park down that direction that is on the start of the Ranger Path. But unfortunately there's no overnight parking. So we found a little lay-by which is enough room for two cars and just hoping this car will be safe here tonight. Because otherwise my wife will have my guts for garters if this car goes missing or gets broken into. So we're going to get all kitted up now, we're going to head straight down there, straight down to the start of the Ranger Path. So there's a paint display car park. So I think we struck gold with the uh, the lay-by we found because I thought it was a bit further away from here but it's only a few hundred yards. So yeah, very lucky I think. And across the road from the paint display car park is the start of the walk. So there, that's someone's house. There it is, look. Snowden Ranger Path. That way. So be warned, folks. Dim Gwesechla, Dross Norse. Strictly no overnight camping. Right on cue with the sheep then. Perfect. Good timing. Just pick out some mountains on this route, Moyle Hebog. One in the middle is Moyle Rogoff, that's where Owen Glendua's cave is. Moyle Levin, a gan, which is the start of the Lanthra Ridge. Voile Reed and Mernith Mower. So cracking views of all these hills from this path. And that lake there is called Hlyn Quechin, which is down there. And we parked our car sort of that direction. So it wasn't too far away in the end. View. Awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Some what a place folks, what a place. Just walking up, we just walked past two Snowdonia Rangers. They give me that look. As if to say, you're camping a bear tonight, aren't you? The pair of you. And I let him walk past, I look back, and I seen the one guy looking back at me. He's seen the tent, don't worry about that. <laughs> But if you want to come up at two o'clock in the morning and see me, then fine. It won't be the first time we had a visitor that time in the morning. <laughs> Remember the last video? We've got a bit of an issue with Mark's GoPro. Top's come off. We had to change the battery and the... we're not sure if these are like copies because because that's stuck in there, we can't get it out. <laughs> We haven't, got anything, we haven't got a knife or anything thin enough. You know, where's a Swiss Army knife when you need one? I know. I thought every wild camp would have one of them. <laughs> well, I haven't. So, um, I don't know what we're going to do with this, because we can't get it out, look. That is pretty jammed in. Buy cheap, pay twice. Well, I didn't know they were copies. I bought these on eBay, so... I don't know what to do. Crisis is over. Luckily, I prized the battery out with one of Simon's keys. So that's going in the bin. I'm not using that again. It's not going very well. Last night I was sleeping in Simon's caravan. And I woke up and I accidentally knocked his telly over. <laughs> my 32 inch LED telly in my caravan is kaput. He smashed all the screen. I didn't know I was sleeping. I, my ham, ham, my ham. <laughs> Um, 
my arm hooked from the back of it and I just hit it over I was like what the hell so yeah that's he turned it on and uh, there's a million lines going through it so it's proof costly view haven't it this little trip like and I've got to buy him a new telly now 130 quid yeah all right <laughs> if you believe that you'll believe anything I'm not cleaning on his shoulder you give me the crap for that <laughs> so telly GoPro battery what else is going to happen? I'm not sure if Simon's mentioned the weather or what the weather's going to be like today. According to the forecast, partly cloudy until about nine tonight and then overnight and tomorrow morning we're having drizzle, but that's fine. We're going home then, so it doesn't really matter. As long as it don't rain today, and yeah, happy days. Just check the OS map. We're going to do a different route to the one I just said. We're going to go on the Ranger path towards Snowden. Then we get to the Clin on the right. And there we're going to take a left up to Mole King Holly on that way instead of going towards Clan Bellis. So, yeah, that's the, that's the route we're going to do. We're on a bit of a scouting mission as well to get some more wild camping locations and some ideas. And that hill over there is called Aklethog. So we're thinking we could do a nice little camp over there with all that view behind. And another one we've here marked is Moyle 11, which is, I can't really see it from here, but it's, a, uh, it's the right hand mountain of the three. So we could do a camp on there and have views of the other two hills next to it like that'd be another one we, which we're going to plan for the future just made it to the clin which is over there that is clin fun on a grass and that could be an option because we're gonna we're gonna hike up mole king horion along the fence the fence line to the summit we'll see what it's like we want to camp on the summit but if it's too windy then we might drop we might drop down by the lake and there appears to be some flat level ground so yeah that's a that's an option we're going to look into if it's too windy up top just got to the fence line and it is windy as hell We're going up there. We'll go up there, we'll see what it's like. That's all we can do, really. It's got to be 15, 20 mile an hour winds. And if it's like it's like this up there, then we won't be camping in that. It's a bit too much, really. But we'll see now. Not too far to go. views up here are stunning mind. That there is what they call cloggy and they do a lot of rock climbing over there and just over the little dip there you've got another little clean called Clean Dia Arthi and I've seen videos on that, that looks um, a fairly decent place to camp as well so you never know that could be one for the future as well. I'm 
So this is the highest point of Moyle King Horion. There's no summit, cairn, no trig point, no pile of stones, just a flat, green, featureless hill really. And that is it, is it there, that's the highest point there. So we've come from the summit of Moyle King Horion, which is over there. We've dropped down on the other side, overlooking Moyle Elio. We camped on uh, on that peak, um, the last wild camp we did. So without the wind, we got enough room for a couple of tents around here. It's pretty level. We can make it work. So unless the uh, the wind changes direction and comes from that way, I think uh, we're going to be golden. So good pitch this is, and hopefully we'll get a nice sunset later on in that direction, fingers crossed. It's about four o'clock now and I reckon it's time to get the tents up. Do you think Simon? Is it too early? A bit early like. I don't think we'll see it, remember like I know what'll happen, we put the tent up and somebody'll turn up. I've got to, you know, it's always way like, you know. I can't believe it's the middle of June and you've got a down jacket on. You know, what's it all about like? Cold. Come on weather, sort it out. It's a bit, it's a bit chilly though, isn't it? It's that wind, it's just a bit of a bite to it, like. Anyway, I'm gonna get my tents up. I'm not waiting any longer. I don't know how well the GoPro will pick it up. I've zoomed in a bit. You've got a train taking people back down from the summit of Snowden. Hopefully the GoPro picks it up. And as you can see, the tents have been erected once again. Same old tents, the MSR access ones. Haven't set the bedding up yet, nor a Simon. We'll leave, uh, leave it for a bit before we do that. So I think Simon's gonna send a drone up now. Get some aerial views of the area. Set up all my bed in now. I'm gonna have a coffee. You know where you've been tangoed. A brew with a view again. Fantastic. Look at that. Brilliant. The food I got tonight, I've got a real term at. Pasta bolognese. 
and I got this from a place called the Fell Store and I had an email last week saying that um, the Fell Store is closing down so it's a real shame that is I've put a few bits from there over the years like and um, they were selling well I think it was um, 35% off a real term at meal so I had that for I think it was seven quid so it's not too bad so I got in quick before they sold out so I'm going to have a coffee now I might have a Mars bar and I'll um, I'll cook my food a bit later on coffee is made I'm also going to have a pot noodle question for you is it just me right or does anyone struggle opening these little sachets I know they got like a little nick on the corner but I can never open them I'll tell you what it does my head in let me know in the comments just have my coffee marks happen so two sachets gold blend and a less cafe original which we call the Cumroy coffee and Nothing exciting, just a bit of coffee whitener. I did say earlier that the wind direction was coming from that way and I didn't want it to come from this way but I think I tempted fate. The wind direction has changed and is coming from this way now. Typical isn't it? But um, as long as you don't have big gusts and a lot of high wind, we should be alright. Yeah, there's a cracking spot where we've uh, found a pitch of tent. Time's knocking on now. What time is it, Mark? Quarter past seven. Quarter past seven. Um, I'm not sure if we'll get a very good um, sunset. It doesn't look like it. But we set up the um, the time lapse camera on a tripod behind me, so whatever it is, it is. No messing around tonight. I've just got a fire pot, chili con carne and rice dehydrated meal. So I've got my water ready. <clears throat> my stove is all set up. So. In the meantime, I think I'll just make some food. I'm not just going to show you how to do it. You've seen all this before. It's pretty easy to do. And just look at the view. I think the gas is going in my uh, in my gas bottle. What I've got, I've got like maybe six bottles in the house, which are all coming to the end. There's, there's only little bits left in them. And what I'm trying to do is just use the remaining gas up. So I brought two of them, so I'm hoping I got uh, enough in the other in the other bottle to boil some water for this and a coffee in the morning should be okay. But uh, it's definitely going. I went to go outdoors um, on Friday, and I bought this. But I was looking at the price of gas and. In December, this size bottle was um, six pounds. Since then, it's actually gone up another two quid, so it's eight pounds for one of these now. And I was like, nah, I'll just try and use what I got before I buy another one, because the price is the price of it is just a joke, like to be honest. Well, the price of everything's gone up, so no surprise really. But I think I've got enough. So that's fully rehydrated. I left it for 15 minutes. I left it inside my uh, sleeping bag to keep it warm. So I'm not gonna show you, um, I'm not gonna film myself eating it because you don't really wanna see that, do you? So what I'll do, I'll give you my verdict out of 10 once I finish that. Mark's doing his real term at Bolognese and then he'll give you his verdict on that. So stay tuned. Just wanna give him my verdict on my um, fire pot chilli corn carne and rice dehydrated meal nice flavour um, bit of a kick to it it's not 
too hot, but it's not too mild. Just in between, which is which is good. Really, really tasty. Uh, the water level on the back was number five, and I got it to number five, and it was, the consistency was perfect. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. I'll give that a solid 8.5 out of 10. Mark is on his real termat spaghetti pasta, pasta bolognese. In my opinion, these are the best outdoor meals you can buy. Not cheap, but I tell you what, look at that. So look proper, good. proper food in there. And I'll give that a nine, nine out of ten. Awesome. Definitely gonna buy that again. Recommend it. So that's a nine out of ten, is it? Yeah. Nine out of ten for the, the real termat bolognese, and a solid eight point five for for that one. So give them a go. I tell you, that's one of the better ones I've tasted on the, on the market. I've had some right dodgy um, camping meals in the past, and some of them are just bloody rubbish. Like the, it's not a bad one. That's quite good. If you like uh, chili con carne, give it a go. There we have it. No sunset for us tonight. As you can see, well, you can't see. You can't see anything. <laughs> I think that's the end of the sports for tonight. I think it could be in for the night. Got a time lapse going, but not much point now, is it? Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Don't think we're going to film much more tonight, but I'll just show you outside. It's about 20 to 10, and it's still pretty light. And uh, this is what we got a lot of mist coming in, visibility, it's probably about, I don't know, 30 feet maybe. Wind's picking up, probably getting about 15 mile an hour gusts. Nothing major, but I just hope it stays at that sort of level. So hopefully we'll have a good night's sleep. I'm gonna zip this door up in a minute. Anyway, we're gonna hunker down, and we'll catch you in the morning. Good night. Mornings. Just woke up. It's about quarter to six now. Not a bad sleep, to be fair. I got up at four for a go outside for a Jimmy Riddle, and um, <coughs> couldn't see anything. So I opened a tent door now, have a look outside, see what it's like. I'm not expecting much, to be honest. So let's have a look. Let's pull that down. And uh, nothing's changed. What a view! Look at that. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Ah, oh, so. All we're going to do now <coughs> is start getting our things gathered up, put them back in our packs and start um, making tracks, I suppose. Not a whole lot to see, so it's pretty pointless hanging around. So right, let's start um, packing up. Just starting to pack everything away. 
put everything in the bags and just think about getting out of here. Yeah, um, last night the wind started to pick up and uh, I was a bit worried because I thought it'd get worse but luckily it just stopped and uh, completely calmed right down. Didn't have any wind all through the night, which is good. Um, I don't know why, but I get pretty nervous about camping in, in high winds, um, you know, the safety aspect. And obviously I don't want to get my tent getting demolished, so it's always in the back of my mind something can happen, but yeah, it was all right. Not a problem there. Um, Mark don't mind the, um, the high winds, but I'm a bit of a worrier anyway, I always have been, so. That's just where I am, you know. But, um, yeah, pretty uneventful nights. We had a good night's sleep. I always sleep well in a tent, as long as you're not battering down with rain and heavy winds. It's always a good experience camping, so, yeah, it was all, all good there. So we're going to pack everything up, and I'll get back to you a bit later on. Tents are down. All the packs have been packed up. As usual, no trace left. There's Simon's dry area where his tent was. Won't be dry for long. Nope, there's mine there. So we're going to make our way down now. I might do a bit of filming on the way down. Um, just show you around when we get out of this cloud. So yeah, see you shortly. We've just come from over there. We were pitched down the other side. And I can't believe how close we were to the path. <coughs> Mad that is. So we're gonna follow this path now. I think it ends up at that junction we were at yesterday, the one that goes to Glanberry, so we can turn right to go to Snowden. I think that's where this ends up, so we're going to follow this down now. And then the rest of the way is quite straightforward. No fog down here. I think it's like 100 metres and above. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Just got back to the Snowden Ranger train station. What we're gonna do, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a sit down and a and a coffee. Oh. We're gonna wrap the video up here now. Just having a coffee in the Snowden Ranger train station. If you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. Yep. If you haven't subscribed, why not subscribe? It's free. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll be notified of any of our future adventures. Talking of future adventures, we got something good planned. It might not be the next video, it might be the video after, depending on what happens. So until the next one, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Bye for now guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.